For seven years, beginning in 1979, I lived across the street from the club, on the fifth floor of 250 Mulberry Street. I lived in the apartment for nearly a year before I learned that the sullen and irritable-looking men who came and went from the club were gangsters. I always said hello to any of the Ravenites I passed on the sidewalk or saw standing in the doorway, but none of them ever said anything to me in response or even acted as if he had heard me. I was never invited into the club either. When I moved there, I, I, I was aware of it and I thought, well, this would be really cool if I became friends with these guys and I could be a member and I could go in there and have an espresso with these guys and we'd tell jokes and I'd, you know, you know, do they know anything about the mafia? Is the mafia down here? I mean, um, you know, so I sort of had, had a fantasy about that, that I was gonna be um, Mr. Popularity. Um, but then by the time I realized who they were and was made aware of who they were, um, I, I, you know, I might before then have um, thought that I could walk into the club and say, you know, it's all right if I come in. But, you know, the mafia is still around. It'd be nice if they still had a little, little uh, uh, club there. I mean, it was, it was a, um, there was something very formal about that part of New York City. You, you knew who those people were. They were there doing their business. It enlivened that landscape of that block in, in, in the city. But, uh, but they're gone. Everything goes in, in, in New York.